Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. You believe in the Bible? Let's yeah, see you go uh, not the Bible. Why not? No, don't. Have you ever believed in it? Uh, I did in time ago. I don't know if you realize that the Bible can't be translated to today's way from back then. So, I know a lot of slang was different. Mm -hmm. yeah, so like, like, like back in the day, they used to say to use the word heaven. They were just talking about the regular sky. They weren't talking about the heaven that we talk about, we say heaven. But a lot of things are just construed in, 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 in the Bible, uh, long, like lost in translation. Uh, yeah, the Bible is right. yes, it is. all the time. Huh. So all the time is lost in yeah. translation. I mean, I believe in God, but I don't necessarily believe in the Bible. So, so believing in God, how would, what would be the, um, what would be the solutions to fixing our community? Okay. So what about what about why why are we in the conditions that we are in? Right. Uh huh. Well, that's another reason why I don't believe in the Bible, because it calls it uh, fiction. It's the yeah, division and friction, because everybody got their own interpretation of what the words are saying. Now, with that, so we all know that it's multiple. Let's be first. I want to. I don't want to go too far, because you said something about the uh, the Bible as far as being the translation. Yeah. Read that real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make understand doctrine? Uh -huh. so, this is, so this is the Most High saying, basically the Most High, who, who shall he teach knowledge? Who shall he teach instruction? Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Uh -huh. Them that are weaned from the milk, the milk it will be considered the commandments. When you're keeping the commandments, that's the milk of the, of the Bible. Read. And drawn from the breast. Uh-huh. For precept must be upon precept. When you read the Bible, you have to read precept upon precept because the Bible is not written in chronological order. To be able to understand what the, the contents of the Bible, you got to read a precept here in the Old Testament, a precept here in the New Testament, then a precept here in Isaiah, then a precept in uh, Jeremiah. That's how we get the understanding of the Bible. Read. Precept upon precept. Uh-huh. Line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Read. For with stammering lips and another tongue. So it says for, with stammering lips and another tongue. That another tongue is another language. Mm -hmm. Because we know that originally we, it, the Bible we spoke Hebrew. Or some people would say Aramaic. But nowadays we, we speak in English now. We speak in Spanish. We speak in French. We speak in all these different languages. But read. Well, he speaks to his people. So, he his gonna, people. so, this, so well, that's why we have the Bible translated in English. Because the time was... Because when this Bible was written, give me, uh, is that it on that? Give me Isaiah 45 real quick. Uh, I think it's 45 and 10. 46 and 10? Yeah, 46 and 10. This is Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. So this is the most I saying. He declared the end from the beginning. So before any of us step foot on this earth, the Most High declared the things that was going to happen to us and was going to happen within the nations. Read. Saying, 
my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So there's nothing that was, there's nothing that's written in this Bible that's not gonna come to pass. Even the war, even like you mentioned about the war that's going on over there, that's Bible prophecy. That's designed to happen because why? The land that they fighting over is not their land. It's not the it's not it's not the it's not the um the, uh, it's not the Jewish people land and it's not the is is uh, the um Arabians land. The Palestines, it's not their land. That's our land that they own. So the reason that they fighting is because the most high stirring up that stuff. Um, what was I gonna go? Give me Joel. Give me Joel. Because the thing about it is, it's, it's only one God. But you got many people that, even even with the even with this Bible, you got many people that hold this Bible but uh, don't uphold what it says. Right, and the, and the problem with that is, right, and the problem with that is, like you said, you grew up and you started to see certain things, like, nah, I'm good. The problem with people doing that, because as you get of age, you start reading something yourself, like, wait a minute, the Bible say that I should not commit adultery, but I grew up watching my, watching my, grandpa, my grandfather be a pimp, but he said he believed in the Bible. And that's the, and that's the thing, and that creates that creates the real quick. Hold that. We're gonna come back. Get Romans. Get Romans. I think it's chapter two. Romans chapter two and verse twenty-one. Thou therefore which teaches another, teachest thou not thyself. So it says, you who teaching, are you not teaching yourself? Are you not, you, you, if you teaching, thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, it's going to say it, it's going to say it. It says, thou that teaches, do you not teach yourself? Meaning, are you, are you doing the things that you're teaching? Read. Thou that preaches another man should not steal. Dost thou steal? So many, when you look at many of the pastors, okay, you teach not thou shalt not steal. Are you stealing? Are you are you taking money out of the out of the offering bucket? Read, and this is him dealing with the Pharisees because as many of the Pharisees, that's what they were doing. Read. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? So if you're teaching thou should not commit adultery, you shouldn't step out on your wife, or you shouldn't have sex before marriage. Are you doing those things? Read. Thou that abhors idols. Thou that abhors idols. I mean, you hate idolatry. You hate things that's reared up for worship that's not the most high God. Read. Does thou commit sacrilege? Are you sacrificing in vain? Are you sacrificing to gods that's not no gods? Read. Thou that thou that makest thy boast of the law, uh -huh. through breaking the law, dishonorest thou God. Says, read it again. Thou that makest thy boast of the law. So you boast in the law, you boast that you keep God's commandments, but yet read. Through breaking the law, dishonor. It says, but God. because you breaking the law, you do what? Dishonoreth God. You dishonor God. Read. For the name of God is blasphemy among the Gentiles through you. So for those that a lot of like you, a lot of us grew up under our grandmother, our mother dragging us to church. And as a young child, you really didn't understand. But you seen the things that they were doing. But as you got older, you seen that, wait a minute, you're not even keeping the what you you're not even doing what the Bible say do. So then and I would say in ignorance, because we don't know no better, we actually we tied the Bible with their actions. When, or they 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 try to teach the Bible and then don't do nothing the Bible says. Right. And that like like a lot of things you're saying. Right. Like in the Leviticus, they tell you not to report. A lot of our people. Every Thanksgiving, every Easter, they go to ham. Right. You talking about the Bible, you talking about spirits, and you got to put all that in together. Y'all can't, right. You can't pick and choose. Right. Yeah. They tell you. They tell you. Old, yeah. Right. And they, and they know what it is, but people leave out. What does it mean to 
what they want to leave out the Bible. Right, and that's the problem. Right, and that's the problem. And that's why a lot of our people, and this, a lot of our people turn away, turn their back on the Bible. When it's not the Bible, it's the people that's teaching the Bible. Yeah, but see, the Bible's powerful, so they, 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 they know they can use the words in the Bible, change one word or pronounce one word a little different, change the whole meaning of what they tell me. Right, and that's the problem. And that's the problem, and a lot of people... A lot of people grow up, and they, because they seen that, they like, I don't want nothing to do with that Bible. They be like, I don't believe in that Bible. Right. And that's the, and that's the, and that create, read that, read that last verse again. Romans chapter 2 and verse 24. For the name of God is blasphemy. So it says the name of God is blasphemy, meaning people turn their back on God's commandments because of what? Among the Gentiles through you. Through you. Uh -huh. As it is written, for circumcision verily prophesied. So our people turn their back on God because the people that's supposed to be teaching us God's laws are, are saying certain things or, or they they saying or teaching things, but they're not doing it. So then we grow up and we get we get to the age of understanding. Like wait a minute, hold on. The Bible said we don't we ain't supposed to eat pork, but you eat you eat pork every Sunday at the service. Now you know what? And you throw the Bible out. You throw the Bible out with the pastor. And I ain't saying you. I'm saying in general. You started to question, but you started questioning the Bible. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, So it's not that, because I'm curious what what scripture what scripture is that? Because uh, it's not it's not that if you bar if I bar if I loan you something, the problem will come in is if I'm hounding you. Get to rock twelve for right now. Yeah. Twenty nine and twenty. Okay. Read that first. Read that first. This is uh, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastical, chapter twelve and verse one. When thou wilt do good, know whom thou doest it. So when we do good, we supposed to know whom we do good to. Meaning, like everybody, everybody that's um, every homeless man or homeless woman, we not supposed to just open our hands up to give. Because a lot of them, they gonna take the money you give them and they go straight to the liquor store. They gonna go straight to the dope man and continue in their sin that caused them to be in the condition that they in. Read. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. Uh huh. Do Wait, good. did you read it? Yeah, when thou doest good, know whom thou doest it. Uh huh. So thou shalt be thanked for thy benefits. Uh huh. Do good to the godly man. Read. And thou shalt find a recompense. So when we do good to the godly man, we're going to find a recompense. We're going to be repaid because we give into a godly man. Either that godly man is going give, to give back. If we, if we turn into the, if we go into the same conditions where we need help, that godly man is going to help us because they because we helped them. Read. And if not from him, yet from the Most High. And even if he do, even if he not able to pay you back, the Most High going to get to take care of you. The Most High going to take care. Don't make sure that you get repaid. Read. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. So if you know a person is evil, 
and you giving them, you giving them money, you constantly giving them money. You ain't doing nothing but supporting this habit or supporting whatever it is that he uh, get entangled in. Read. Nor to him that gives no alms. Give Read. to the godly man and help not a sinner. So it says, the Bible says give to a godly man, but help not a sinner. So if somebody's in the midst of sin, you know, because if you if you help a sinner, you 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 uh it's like you cockering them. You saying that oh it's okay that you you're in the midst of sin. I'm gonna help you continue in your sin. Is that it on that? Yeah. You gotta get get twenty nine. Twenty nine and uh, what was it? Twenty. Twenty. So rock chapter twenty nine and verse twenty. Help thy neighbor according to thy power. So it says help thy. So we are supposed to have a mind to help our brother according to our power. Meaning that we good and when we give to him, we can do without it. Read. And be and beware that thou thyself fall not into the same. So we can't, our brother need help with his light bill. Our brother who we know is keeping the commandments, he need help with his light bill. So you be like, hey, you know what? I got you. He go hundred dollars, take care of your light bill. And then next week our lights get cut off. That's not wisdom. That's not wise for us to do as a people. And and Sadly, a lot of us do that, but that's because we don't know no better. Uh, we don't. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and in house to cover shame. And it's going into a, another, the, the, the chief things in our life is water, bread, clothing, and a house. A lot of times we get caught up in trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to keep up with the various things that's going on in society. When we don't, we don't, we haven't learned how to be content as a people. We greedy. That's why a lot of times you got brothers robbing other brothers because a brother got something that he ain't got. Read. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than delicate fare in another man's house. Be it little or much, hold thee contented that thou hear not the reproach of thy house. So the Bible tells us to be content to things with it. Whatever we have, as long as we can pay our bills, we got a roof over our head, and we got food and clothing, we should be content. I'm not saying that you can't have nice things, but a lot of times, a lot of us, a lot of our people lose their life in the chase of, a, of a material things. We chasing money so we can get more money, so we can get this big 12 room house that, and it's only us and our wife, but we got a 12 room house that we probably got, room, got rooms that you don't even go in. That's not how we're supposed to live as a people. And that's, that's one of the things that caused many of the problems within our community. Because we haven't learned to be content with whatever it is that we have. Uh, read on. Verse 24. For it is a miserable life to go from house to house. For where thou art a stranger, thou darest not open thy mouth. Whether, whether you, you got some older, some grown men that still live with their mothers at 30, 35, 40, and then mad when their mother or their father got certain rules that they got to lie about, about, but they get mad and say, I'm a grown man. Okay, well, if you're a grown man, get you a job, keep the job, and get your own house, get your own stuff. Uh, read on. Thou shalt entertain and feast and have no thanks, moreover. Thou shalt hear bitter words. Come thou stranger and furnish the table and feed me of that thou hast already. Give place, thou stranger, to an honorable man. My brother cometh to be lodged and I have need of my house. These things are grievous to a man of understanding. The upbraiding of house room and reproaching of the limbers. This is the book of Sirach chapter 40. In verse 28, my son, lead not a beggar's life, for better it is to die than to beg. So this that's another thing, us as us as a people, that's not something we're not supposed to be, and it's it's more prevalent now where it's a lot of you go to a lot of corners where it's a lot of people that's standing on the corner, they living their life begging. Right. I believe in God, heaven. Um, I, know, I know that's why I'm here. This, this part, this part. How you I'm doing? I'm 47 years old. Uh -huh. I know I, I made it all the way to the hill. Get John 7 and 14. As you had mentioned something about as far as uh, 
the different teachings, like people put their own twist to the Bible, so to say. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to read that. My, go to 1 Peter or First Peter 2 and 21. Cause that's a, I mean, that's that's a, it's a, that's a good safeguard as far as being keen to. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna search it out myself and make sure that what you're teaching me line up with what the Bible is saying. But we can't just not take heed to the, to the Bible. All right, this is Second Peter, chapter one. In verse 20, knowing this first, that no private of the Read again. First, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So when we're reading this Bible, you 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 know I'm, I'm pretty sure you done heard it many passes. Well, I had a dream. The most the God showed me this, and they read one scripture. No, there's no private interpretation of the Bible. The Bible say what the Bible say. And the Bible is going to interpret itself. They go back to the scripture we read earlier where it said precept must be upon precept. The Bible is going to interpret itself. The Bible is going to explain itself. Read. Uh, for the prophecy came not, not in old time by the will of man, but by holy men of God. So it wasn't no man that woke up one day and like, you know what, I'm going to write a book about God. The Bible that we have is because the Most High God expired them to write what they wrote for us today. So this Bible is very relevant for us today, but a lot of times because of the old, like King James, you're reading it and it got the old English. A lot of times we don't necessarily understand some of the wording, but as we, if we keep, when you're keeping the commandments, the Most High God will give you that understanding. Read. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So that's how we, when we view the Bible, the Bible, ain't nothing wrong with the Bible. The Bible hasn't been tainted. It's the men that have been teaching, they've been teaching it wrong. Even when we was in slavery. When we was in slavery, you had, I don't know if you ever heard, it was a slave Bible. Where they, removed, they removed the majority of the Bible and only taught us what would benefit them. They taught and twisted what would benefit them to keep us as they slaves. And, and that now, even though today we got the full Bible, all of the, all of the most of the churches are doing is duplicating that same slave teaching to keep us subservient to where we are because the, the nations know that as long as we keep as long as we're breaking God's commandments, we're gonna continue to be on the bottom. We're gonna continue to be murdering and shooting each other down in the streets. We're gonna continue to be hating each other. All of those things are gonna continue to happen as long as we are as long as our back is turned on this Bible and the commandments, we're gonna continue to live in slums and ghettos and doing evil. Uh, but go back to John 7 and 17. John chapter 7. 14, start at 14. So this is, this is Christ uh, addressing the people. And this is because the Pharisees, you're familiar with the Bible. So you know that the Pharisees hated Christ. Because everything that Christ, everything that Christ was doing was taking the people away from the Pharisees. Taking them out of their power, so to say. Read. Now about the midst of the feast. Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Uh -huh. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? So the people looked at him and said, how, how do he know the laws like that? And he never learned, or he never went to our school. The same thing today. None of us went to seminary school. But because we've studied this Bible and we applied the things that's in the Bible, the Most High has given us understanding of his Bible, of his words. Read. Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine. So when they came to Christ like that, Christ said, my doctrine is not mine. But read. But he is that sent me. But he is that sent me. You know, Christ never took, even though Christ had all the, the, the reason to take the authority to himself, he never did. He said, my doctrine ain't mine. I'm just doing what my father told me to do. Read. If any man will do his will. So if any man would do God's will, read. He shall know of the doctrine. He shall know of the doctrine. Read. Whether it be of God or whether, it, or whether I speak myself. So same thing with us. We bring we, we, in, we in here and we teaching the Bible. We go throughout the city teaching the Bible. The only way you would know is if what we teaching is real is if you would do if you would if you have a desire to go do God's will. Go to uh, uh, yeah Psalms forty and eight real quick. So let's see what God's will because this is that's the the only way we get understanding is if we do God's will. So when Christ was walking on earth, he said, you're going to know, you're going to be able to validate the things that I'm saying 
if you want to keep God's will. Read. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Uh-huh. Yes, thy law is within my heart. So the will of God is his laws. So the will of God is us keeping his commandments. So if you have a desire to keep God's commandments, you will know if what we're saying is something we didn't sat back and, and made up in our own minds or if we actually teaching what God what God told us to teach now go back to go to that in Acts chapter 30 I mean Acts uh, 8 because what, what's the, the difference of what we doing here we taking you to the Bible and referencing the scripture scripture for scripture we're not, we not standing here speaking for 30 45 minutes without citing what the Bible says Read. This is Acts chapter 8 and verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him uh -huh. and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Uh -huh. And he said, How can I except some man should guide thee? So when it comes to the Bible, there's many things in this Bible that we'll read and it'll go over our heads a thousand times over. We have to, we have to for one, we have to have a will, uh, the will of man to do what the Bible say to do, and we got that willing, willingness of mind and we actually applying, then we're gonna be able to receive understanding even when somebody's teaching us and telling us about the Bible. Uh, that it, that's it on there, right? Uh, now go to, it's more? Yes. Read. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Uh-huh, now go to Joel. Just dealing with what's going on in, the, in, the, in Palestine, Israel. Oh, that, that, it ain't got nothing to do with uh, the, the Jewish trying to get them to, the one, the Jewish is trying to take over Gaza so that they can have it for themselves. So they, can, they already got uh, plans to expand and all of that stuff. But that's the surface level stuff. The thing is, that ain't none of their land. It's our land, like you, like you know. So let's read that. The Bible describes it. Read that. Joel chapter 3, verse 1. <clears throat> for behold, in those days and in that time, well, so we know that the, the Bible was written a long time ago. So now he said in those days and in that time, referring to today. Read. For behold, in those days and that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah and Jerusalem is the northern, the southern kingdom of Israel and the northern kingdom of Israel. Because there was, you know, we was we had one divide, went one, we had one um, what's the word I'm looking for? We had a we had a one nation where we are all all twelve tribes was together under David and Solomon, and then after Solomon the kingdom was split into two kingdoms. You had the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. The Bible refers it to it either Judah Judah and Jerusalem or Judah and Israel. Read. I will also gather all nations. So now he's saying I will gather all nations because what's as that conflict is going on, what's what else is going on? America, China. And then you got the right. So all the all the so right now all of the nations are ramping up their military. You got Russia going against Ukraine. War is is right. But you know what you know what's crazy about that. This fly, we've been we've been telling the people about that for years. And I'm pretty sure you know that already. The same thing, the images, it's in it's in books, it's in books. But it's over those in America, we in a bubble. They got us in a bubble. Right. Right. So right. So we don't. I will gather all. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. The valley of Jehoshaphat is the valley of judgment. That's over there in our land, in Palestine. Yeah, they stole everything from us. Right, right. They, they stole. Right. Even when, the, even in the Dark Ages, we ruled Europe. When we was coming, when we was coming up in school. They told us there was a time where there was no. Yeah. Right. So we 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 are the former of all things. We are the original people on this earth. We are the sons of God. So that's why right now the things that's going on in our hoods and our communities, we at the bottom because that's our judgment. 
for being in the midst of sin. We broke God's commandments, just like if you got, you got children, you got sons, daughters, you tell them to do something and they don't do it. You just, you just come in the house like, oh, no, you okay. You ain't got to worry about it. No, you discipline them. That's what we going through as a nation of people. We being disciplined by God. Right. Right. And, and that's our job. Read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the, God said he's going to bring all the nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat. He's going to bring them to that, that seat of judgment. And he says he's going to plead with them there. How does God plead with, with us? How does God plead with us or plead with the nations? we get that in Isaiah. <clears throat> Because, because when, when you think of a lot of when you think of a natural term of please, it's like please, let me have this or please. Nah, that ain't how God move. That ain't how God move. Exodus chapter fifteen and three says, I, "The Lord is a man of war." So read that real quick. Isaiah chapter sixty six and verse fifteen. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Uh huh. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. So he's gonna come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Read. To render his anger with fury. So he says to render his anger with fury, read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. That's that's that sounds like destruction to me. Read. For by fire and by his sword. So by fire and by his sword. Sound like further words of war. Read. Will the Lord plead with all flesh? That's how he plead. He plead with war. With fire and brimstone, with judgment. Because what we've learned. What a lot of us have learned coming up in Christianity, coming to the church, that God is a God of love, and it's this ooey good, like he's going to come with hugs. And I, nah, Christ coming Christ come with judgment. When he come back, he coming to judge the nations. Now go back to Joel. Was that it on that? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And it says, then the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that's just plain as plain day. When, when Christ come back, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed. Read. Go to Joel. Joel chapter 3 and verse... <laughs> we'll finish off two. Uh, yeah, go start back at 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. And will plead with them there for my, pe for my people and for my heritage Israel. So, why, so one of the things you want to ask also, why is he gathering all nations to plead with them for his, for his people, which is us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Because we've been, in, we've been in slavery under all the nations on this earth. The Arabs had us in slavery during the sub-Saharan slave trade. The Chinese had us in slavery. The, um, was the Bing, was the Qing, what's the name of the dynasty? The Bing dynasty? They had us, we, we built the Great Wall of China. Yeah, that was the, uh, Yeah, you know these things. Uh, keep them out. Right. Um, Right. Oh. Let, let, us finish, let us finish this real quick. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Whom they scattered among the nations and parted my land. That's Palestine and Israel. They they living in our land. That's why that stuff is. That's why it's starting to ramp up. Because that's our land. That's the Most High God causing that thing that thing to happen. Read. And they have cast lots for my people uh -huh. and have given a boy for a harlot. That was during slavery. When they sold us as slaves, what was they doing? They, was, they sold the boy for a harlot. That was buck breaking. They was, the men was raping our young men. Read. And sold a girl for wine. And they were selling our women for wine. When you've seen the slave movies where the slave master, hey, I need your wife. He, he just sold your wife to another slave master for some wine. Read. That they might drink. Uh huh. Yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Tyree and Zidon are African nations because they were the ones that sold us off the west coast of Africa to the white man. Read, and it's going to say it. Read. And all the coast of Palestine. And all the coast of Palestine. That's the Arabians because they had us in the sub Saharan slave trade. Read. Will ye render, render me a recompense? And they doing these things because they jealous because God chose us as his people. Read. He recompense me swiftly and speedily. And, and God said, oh, you're going to repay me because I chose them over you. You're going to repay me? All right, read. Swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. And I'm going to judge you. 
Yeah. The ring. That's why they going crazy over there because they know. The they know what time it is. It's us. It's us that don't know what's going on. Well, I, I ain't saying you, but I, us I as a people, we don't we don't know what's going on. Yup, we don't know what's going on. Right, exactly. Yup, read that. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. So they have taken taken us, and now they, they Jesus, they got this Caesar Borgia painted as Christ. They got all these images in these Bibles. You open it up, and you got a big bearded white man naked with kids with him and all of that stuff. That's uh, Pope Alexander the Fifth. Pope Alexander the Sixth. They painted his son with exhaust incest and all that. He was sleeping with his sister, all type of stuff. And made him as the image of Christ. It was a lot of evil. Right. Read on. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold unto the Grecians. The Grecians is who? Which is who? The white man. The white man. Right. So Judah and Jerusalem, that's that's the the you could say the blacks and Hispanics. Which or the natives. That's who Judah and Jerusalem are. Read. That they don't that ye might remove them far from their border. That they might remove us far from our border. Not only did they take us out of our land. They removed us far from Israel because we don't know, we don't even know we are the Israelites. They also removed us from our commandments. They removed us from our God because when they brought us over here, we knew who we were. When they came, when, they, when they came. Now we was in Egypt because during the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, that was when the Romans came and destroyed our temple. So the prophecy was that we flee into Africa. Because when we flee into Africa, why would we flee into Africa? Because we look the same. It's easiest for us to blend in. But even today, you can tell that those that are true Africans, that's real Africans, they don't like us. You, you can tell that they know that we are not the same people. Now, of course, we, it's some of us still in Africa. We understand that, but we are, not, we are two different people. We're not Africans. Africa is not the motherland. Jerusalem is the motherland, which is our homeland. So we went into Africa because we could blend in amongst them because we look the same. It's harder, to, it's harder to find out who we are. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Every nation, no, like you, you said it earlier. Every, every, all of the nations know. Yeah, all of the nations, all of the nations know who we are. They act like it. They act like they act dumb and play dumb, like they don't know. But even some of the, some of the, uh, the middle class and under other, other, other nations, some of them don't know. But the, the upper echelons, the ones that's up in the seats of power, they know exactly who we are and they know exactly what they're doing. All of these different, the, uh, the sex say you got every, everywhere you look, it's a strip club promotion or all of that stuff is designed to keep us in sin. Because as long as we in sin, they can continue to rule this work. But as we, come, as we come back and keep God's commandments, they know that the tables are turning. Because now we return to back to our God. And when you look at the Old Testament, what did God do for us? What did God do when we was keeping his commandments? He destroyed nations for our sake. Because we was pleasing to him. We was doing what he required us to do. So now we rising back up. They trying to stop it. And at the same time, as we rising back up and we getting set in order, get, uh, get that in Psalm real quick. Get Psalms chapter 55 or 50. Is it 50 or 55? Uh, set them in order before thine eyes. But the thing is, right now, we being set in order. That's why, and, and you've seen it, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. Uh, us being called, us, this truth about us being Israel is spreading out big. I, I've been following it for 10 years. When I first came in, it was very spotted. Now it's everywhere. It's worldwide because 50 and 21. Yeah, started 16. I got Israel life. Probably 15, 16 years ago. Okay. Yeah, when I met my wife, 
Well, we were saying this one, but then I, I, uh, I started visiting that church. And I'm like, wow, it just sounds about more right, right, than, than any other religion. Right. So let's read that real quick. This is fifty, uh, Psalm chapter fifty, verse sixteen. But unto the wicked, God said. So unto the wicked, who is the wicked? Exactly, because they rule in the earth. And when you look at Job nine and twenty four, we don't go there right now. Job nine and twenty four say that the uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. If not, where and who is he? When you look at the earth, who's ruling the earth? You got Europe. They over. They they rule in Europe. They rule in Russia. They rule in America. They rule in majority of the earth. They rule in they rule in the world. Read. What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Then he says, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Read. That thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. So he basically saying, What why you got my Bible and you trying to teach it? You have no you have nothing to do with my Bible. Read. Seeing thou hatest instruction. They hate instruction because they cast these words behind their back. Read. And cast it my words behind thee. Uh-huh. When thou sawest a thief, then thou then thou consentest with him. Uh-huh. And has been partaken with adulterers. Read. That thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. That thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. That's what that's what the that's what the so-called white man does to us. Because when something happened in our community, it's the first thing on the news. But then when something happened in their community, it get hid under the rug. Like I live in Lansing, you will you you gotta search high and low to find the crime that goes on in the city of Lansing. Because they try to keep it under the wraps. They try to keep it under the wraps. Read. Verse 21. These things hast thou done. So they done these things, read. And I kept silent. All these evil things they done, and God kept silent. So they, in their mind, they think, oh, God like us. Read. That thou thoughtest that I was, uh, that thou thoughtest I was altogether such as one as thyself. That's why they, they got the image of Christ everywhere. They, 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 they show it to us as if this Bible is about them. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 